the death of, of, of a sinner is not pleased with the death of a sinner. So when you are cleansed, clean, and ready, why not go? Why wait for another trial in life? So kamodi yarib saperwa melcha khizakia kat awur wa jukha jura bakhina ukharta napil wa jukha yo kha kulta satana ukharta la parqwa minna. And that's exactly what happened. He fell into a trap. Why? Because what we see next, God said, hey guys, he didn't only, he didn't only want to live 15 years, but he said, what is the sign that God gives me? And what was the sign? He brought the sun 10 degrees back. Until now, the scientists are looking for that. And where did they find it? In this book. They find it in this book. That the sun went back 10 degrees. Yes. And that's what the scientists want to know. Uh, when is the sun? Somewhere must have stopped. They found it in two places. They found it in Hezekiah's time, Amrati, and they found it in, in, in Joshua's time. When he was fighting, God said, I'm not going to make it dark. I'm going to let the sun stay up so you can see the enemy and you can fight. Those are the two places where the sun one time stopped and one time went back 10 degrees. So God froze the night to be day until they finish fighting. And here, he said he wanted a sign and God's sign was 10 degrees back. And guess what? Oh, the Babylonians, their time was set on the, on the shadows where the sun goes. So they know if it's 4 o'clock, the sun will be exactly at this line, right? So that they know that the workers have to go home. Yeah. Well, the poor workers couldn't go home that day, I guess. Because the sun went back, not forward, right? So, Shimsha Dirra Labara, Aturayim Mara Khedaki, Akhran Modiktor, Adiya Dirra Sa, Dakhtoy, Murukamo. Why did why, this happen? Murusab. So they said, you know what? The Babylonians asked, what happened? He said, well, King Hezekiah asked God to give him more life, and he gave him a sign, and this is the sign. The sun went back. So what did they do? His enemies. They came to him, they bowed to him, they gave him gifts, they gave him gold, they gave him everything. He said, wow, that's amazing that God listens to this man. But Hezekiah, Modi with Hezekiah, what did he do? He showed his own glory. He glorified himself. He showed him the gold. He showed him what he has in that temple. He showed him everything. He didn't even bring glory to God. And that's when God said, enough is enough. That's it. He said, everything you built, everything that came from your ancestors, from your grandfathers, whatever came to you, I will take away from you. So God prophesied that it will be the 70 years when the Babylonians, the Assyrians will take the Jewish people into captivity. So we should not be able to get the people of the Israel. And God prophesied that in Hezekiah's time. He said, everything you have, you, it will go away. Why? Because it was God's will against man's will. And you know, if you take Hezekiah 15 years back, he would say, you know what, I wish I died that day. For all what I'm going to go through now, for all what he went through, because all what he did, he brought glory to himself. So, with power of prayer, he prayed what? He prayed to God, please God, don't take me, I want to live longer. What is with man wants to live longer? Why? This is a dream, not life. Yeah. If you consider this life, Satan has beaten you to the core. 
you lost your fight. If you think this is life, you got it wrong. This is just a dream. Just think about the people before you. What happened to them? It's a dream. They're not here. You only see their pictures, huh? You might see them on videos. You're lucky. Something is boring. So, this is a dream, and this dream will end. So, chayutan modi lalacha. What are we waiting for? This is a dream and it's going to end, right? We said that. The more you think this is life, the more you're going to be attached to it. The more you're going to do plastic surgeries. The more you're going to waste your money. It's going to go along with the dream. And then once you wake up up there, you're going to say, wow, I had a great dream. I wish you do, right? We all wish to, that that will happen. Because most of us will wake up and they can say, we had a nightmare. Why? Because you're either not talking to your own brother, or to your own sister, or to your own father, or to your mother, or to your kids. You see? So that means you're having a nightmare right now. It's not a good dream. And God doesn't want to wake you up yet. Until you make it up and go back and make it a good dream. And that's what he wanted Hezekiah to go to him because it was a good dream. It was ready. So are you dreaming a good dream? Or are you having a nightmare? That's what you need to ask yourself. Very well. So that was Hezekiah's story. And then we said his son, Menashe, came after him. Menashe. And he did all the evil stuff in God's eyes. Until his grandson came, actually it was great-grandson, because Amun did the same thing. In his great-grandson, Yushia, Josiah, he did good in God's eyes. Yushia with the spy. Yushia with the spy. So now we're going to talk about when man's will is according to God's will. How about that? And we're gonna talk about Hannah, Hannah. We all know Hannah? We all know Hannah? Who doesn't? Yeah, Hannah and Panna. Panna left you, though. That's Hannah. Who doesn't talk about Hannah? Ah, my beauty, I'm not gonna let you talk about it. I'm not gonna let you talk about it. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay. Very well, my man. Who knows Hannah here? No, Hezekiah. No, it's Hezekiah. It's in Second Kings, but I Did you see it? Oh, you didn't. You didn't copy that? Here, Baba. Here. Go to Second Kings 20. And it's from verse 1. Okay, Brati? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So we're going to talk about Hannah. Now we talked about Hezekiah. Um, Zimna Bas Hezekiah. Aum Baiwa Kat Khaiwa Khaiya Buzoda. Iwa Allah Baiwa Kat Nabilwal. Hannah Modi Bayawa. Hannah Bayawa Bruna. Hannah Bayawa Bruna. Hannah Bayawa Bruna. Hannah Bayawa Bruna. Yeah. She wanted Bruna, right? In a boy, our Bruna, no? Mm -hmm. Who knows Hannah? Hannah and Penini. Penini bread. Penini bread. Penini bread. Penini bread. Penina. Penina, Penina. Okay. So, there was a man, a man named Alpena. Alpena gwire wa kafanna u kakhanna. Alpena gwire wa kafanna u kakhanna. La? Ya tatlak sate, la bushra? Very good. So, we all know the story. Gwire wa kafanna u kakhanna. Panna ya viva la raba ya le itwa. Kanna le ma ya. So, Hannah could not bear children. 
But Penini had a lot of children. Penna, okay? Penina, it's called Penina. I call her Penini because she was Penini. Not Penera. So, so Khanna Itwala, Leha Viwala Yale. Panna I must call Allah with Khanna. So, if you have a lot of people who are not going to be able to do this, you can't get a little bit of 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 Hana couldn't bear children, and Penina had uh, six kids, right? So, let's take it from there. Her husband always doing sacrifices, and he's given uh, sacrifices on time for whatever occasion. He's just praying so his wife can have a child, right? And But he's telling her at the same time, he's telling Khanna, that I love you more than a child. You don't have to give me a child in order for me to love you. But then on the other end, Panna will always mock her and make fun of her because she doesn't have any children. Isn't that sad? Do we do that to people? All the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, people do it all the time. She's happy. What? The truth always hurts. She never does she Hey. Cheers to that! So, what happened? Khanna leha vilayale, panna itla ishtayale. So what do we look at this? You see, don't look only at Hannah, you gotta look at her sister because it's a test for both. All what panna has to do is take one of her child and put it in Hannah's lap and say, this is for you, just don't cry, please. Wow, wouldn't that be great? That would be awesome. Would anybody do that when you see a woman can't have children? Anybody think about that? It happened one time. It happened one time. Yeah. Possible, one time, yes. But does anybody even think about doing that? Not in this day and age. It's happening in Syria. That's the way it should be. Yeah, But how many people will do that? Oh, we were talking about if you have six children, would you give someone that you They're love? Daughters, yes. But not a, not a boy. <laughs> no, I'm it doesn't matter. Can I have a daughter. Yes. Okay. Yes. No. I'll take one. <laughs> I have one. Yeah. Oh, God bless. Okay. okay. All right. So. So Hannah, does, she can't bear children. So what happened here? This is when she is going to the temple and she's praying. We know that, right? Yep. And she is praying and she is weeping. She is praying to God. Can somebody read this for me, please. Quran, you want to read it? Go ahead. Okay, we're going we gonna to read it. We get deeply distressed and pray to the Lord and bitterly. Yeah, 
So what is she saying? She said to God, please God, give me a son and I promise you that I will make him a priest for you. I will give him to you for the rest of his life. Holy. This is the only son you're going to have? Yes. Woo! Who prays that prayer? God, please let me win $20 million and I'll give them all to you. I bet you a church, shall I show? Hmm? I will build you a church. So, what, who prays that prayer? Mani Salih Sluta Yaman Khala, Hali Awa Min Diwana Biyam Na Khadi. No, would you ask God to give you something that you will give him to God for his life? Would you ask God to give you a child and you will give the child to God? That's my sister, yes. What do you mean? It has nothing to do with this. What do you mean? I won't give my child for my sister. No, that's all you say. I'll give you something. Yeah. Tell them who. We'd ask God for a prayer, for whatever your heart desires, and then say that I will give this thing back to you. So she asked for a son. He said, God, I don't bear children, I know, but the only way I'm going to get it to you. So if you give me that child, I'm going to give him to you for the rest of the Well, that was a prayer. That's the most amazing prayer you guys will ever see. Why? She said, Mera in Chuman did you have a Yavan Kar? So Modila by a Bruna Katiawala. Why you why you gonna give it to God? Because it's a son. Why? Because he's gonna be a priest. So what did she do? Did she go back on her deal or did she do that? She did. She did it. She did. She did it. Once she, once he stopped, once he stopped uh, getting the milk from her, right? She gave it to the church. She gave him to the church. But Sikhlem and Sadro, Kamiawale, Kaili. She gave him to Eli. Eli was the priest on that day. So she gave him to Eli, and Eli took him in, and the kid became to be Samuel. The same book of Samuel. Mani Vile O Bruno, Vile Shmuel, Vile Enuia. George. He is the one that anointed all the kings for Israel. He anointed kings, uh, King uh, Saul, 
and King David. King David. Right? Yep. Uh, 